happening. I'm probably gonna do that after I like, stop stop chatting with you like four or five a.m. Maybe I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because this shit can't last long. It's either that I'm gonna commit suicide or something's gonna happen. I can't just like, sit here. I need somebody to help me with this. Yeah, but you can't just wipe out your family like trust. Well, I can't. They're not my family. They're not my family. They are your family. That's your parents. That's your sister. No, please, honestly, you bear condoms. That's all I have to say. What? What? Are you saying that, like, you're adopted? Like, that's not your mother? Or what do you mean? No, I, I just mean, like, please don't give birth to people if you can't handle yourself. Oh, either. okay. Yeah, well, hey, fair enough. Like, uh, you know, trust. I have a few friends that have children that probably shouldn't. <laughs> Trust, you know, like it definitely exists, and I see it in my own life. Yeah. It's a lot worse on my case, though. Yeah. My dad was once yelling at me for playing Val. He was like, "You keep shooting people. You've been doing this for years. What do you get out of it? Get out of all this." I'm like, "Dude, you." You invested like so much money into me. What do you get? You got you got a murderer. You got you got your own debt. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was really <clears throat> funny. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Fuck. I was just like uh, playing with my friends before hopping on call with you. Yeah. How was that? It was yeah, it was fun. We got destroyed by Smurf, even though I was supposed to be the Smurf because I was playing with my Iron Friends. Dude, but that, I listen, that happened yesterday. So I was playing with Sparks, and I was, re remember that account I had you log into that I bought? I was yeah, doing yeah. the first placement on there, and he was playing on my main account. And, uh, yeah. we, our Brimstone went 1 1 1 and then, like, Alt F forward. Like, Brimstone quit. Uh -huh. So it was a 4v5 the entire game. We took it all the way 13-11 or 13-12 or whatever. I think we even lost an OT, actually, now that I think about it. Anyways, I went, like, 20-19 and 19 or some shit. But Sparks went, like, 36-15. and 15, And we still lost. But we had a female KJ, and she was lost, bro. Iron 3, like, she was actually iron. <laughs> Like, this KJ was lost like a puppy dog, bro. She had a cute voice, though. Uh, yeah, I remember, there, there was once a KJ in my game. I was smurfing with my friend. I mean, not really smurfing. My friend is bronze. I do if he wanted to play with me. Yeah. So, so I hopped on my ult and started playing with her. And the map was heavy, but I was dead. And our killjoy, her name was literally Kitten. That oh was her God. name. And she was, like, literally, like, a girl. <laughs> and you know she was like she was talking to like it's pretty weird to see like girls talking right especially on your servers <laughs> yeah it's really weird so she was talking to you and then uh, then in chat i like i was like dude i thought it's gonna be too awkward so that's why i didn't say it out so i, I typed uh, in the chat uh and I, <laughs> i'm sorry <clears throat> so i asked her if he's a kid and she says, no, she's not a kid, she's a girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> because, like, a lot of kids have, like, really girl-like voices. Are you sick? Yeah. Still? I'm dream. always sick. It's either physical or mental, I'm always sick. I got you. That's such a, like, an, an old man response. <laughs> yeah, like, I think... I'm really inspired by British people. Why? I really like, like, uh, uh, the colonial era British. Like, you know, I feel like it's kind of like, I uh, always looked up to the British, like, high in my eyes. Like, I always thought they were, like, the well mannered people, like, culture, and then, like, you know, The British yeah. are hated by a lot, the opposite, because they, they're the colonizers. They come in and take everybody's land, steal the money, and... Whatever, honestly. At least for India, it was justified. Indians could, can't do anything by themselves. Even today, I like I literally hope that the British have stayed. Like, why did they leave? Oh my gosh. 
You must be like the only person in your country that thinks this way. I mean, I'm joking. There's probably a few others, but... I don't care. My no, for sure. Wait, I, I had something for you. Uh, wait. One second. Okay. I, I recorded the DM that I promised I will. Oh, okay. Time. Are you going to uh, upload it unlisted? Yeah, I already have. I just got to say. Okay, it. okay, perfect. I'll watch it after I do lost. my aim labs. Yeah, sure. I kind of got lost, so you can like just uh, watch the end if you like want the main advice part, or if you want to see me play, then maybe you can watch the full thing. But okay. Do that. Wait. <laughs> oh, one second. I'm just going to time stuff. I woke up today, like, well, like, when I woke up at, like, 6 or whatever, you know? Like, I was doing my work call, and I got a text okay. from my mom, my mother. My mother sent me a well, TED Talk. A TED Talk? Why is that? I don't know. I just thought that that was random. I don't know if you've ever watched TED Talk before. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't know, it was just random. My mother never really texts me that much, so, like, it was just freaking random, like, okay. Yeah. I wish my parents stopped talking to me. Oh my gosh. Starting to get cold here. Oh yeah, it is here too. What the fuck? I just missed this bot like three times. I had to restart.
<laughs> Tarek is like genuinely funny. Tarek, kind of, but he's just like I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's like the funniest streamer. He's a nice guy. Yeah, for sure. Tarek's pretty wholesome. Like, I don't know. Were you watching YouTube or like uh, them live? Yeah, YouTube, YouTube. You know, I watched a good YouTube video yesterday. It was um, from Tens uh, on his channel playing CS2. Oh, the Premier Mode one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch that? Uh, no, but I got that in my recommended. It was on the map Vertigo. And so I had never played that map like because I'm new to CS. I've never played it at all. And I watched that video yesterday. And then I go Q Comp, and the first map I get is Vertigo. Can't you choose maps in CS2? Yeah, you can, but I have them. I have just all of them enabled. Okay. Well, all the ones that are in current rotation. Yeah. But I might, I might, I might do a uh, nuke only because not that I like it, but I have two wins on it already, and you need ten wins on a map to get your rank. Because you have a rank oh, for okay. each map. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So like technically nuke is like my best map because I've only won three matches and I've only played four matches. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had one loss. I mean, apart from the statistics, you should like play the one which you feel is the easiest. Play the one that I think is the easiest. Yeah, I don't I really don't have enough experience yet to be like, yeah, this is the one I think is the easiest. But yeah, that's a good point. Okay. I, I really don't like uh, Inferno um, for some reason. It's like, it, 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 I think it's like an Italy city, like with tight little corridors, like, and in, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I always get like... Is it like a scent? Is it like a scent? No, it'd be like, it'd be like Sunset. Oh, <laughs> Sunset. It'd be like, it'd be like, a, imagine like an Italy city with like a couple apartment buildings and then like, like walkways and like brick little like pathways and then like the two bomb sites and then there's like a wine shop. That reminds, that, that, that reminds me of the, uh, the scene <laughs> where uh, Jet is stealing the bag in the environment trailer. Uh, that reminds me of that. So that map is a scent. That's why it has a scent. Do you watch somebody named West Jet? Yeah, yeah, he's my favorite YouTuber. Because like I rarely laugh, I got nothing to laugh to, so his videos are really good for me. I've never watched them, but they had, like, they ha they were featured in this, like, um, Valorant Hot Takes YouTube short that I watched. Oh. Apparently, that guy has some hot takes in his videos. I don't know. I don't wa I've never watched mm -hmm. West Shit. Yeah, I'm at the show. It's, like, actually good. I'll, I'll check them out, maybe, like, or not maybe, but I will, like, if I remember. Mm -hmm. What what kind of stuff do they make? I'm I'm sure if you're watching it, it's not Smurf content. Uh, yeah, it is like extreme sarcasm and funny and jokes. Okay, so it's like right up your alley. Yeah. Like it's all just like him roasting Valorant and Red Games. Hmm. My head hurts and I feel like there's like two inches of like fucking skin around my eyes. Like I feel like I have tunnel vision. Uh -huh. I'm like tired. Like I feel like I'm looking through like binoculars. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Okay.
Dude, I want like I want like a machine that will like perfectly crack my back every time when I like lay in it or sit in it. That's the invention I need. <laughs> Do you think about Balvin Rook? Do I think about it? No. Not really. I just think about my desire of wanting to be good at FPS. Now it's it's extended to CS2 now as well. Like I, I do I want to be good at both, not just Val, but like both. <laughs> Dude, CS is really like actually good. Except for yesterday people were flaming me. They're like, You're you're throwing my games, you're trolling, this is your alt account. And I'm like, I'm fucking new. Look at my Steam account. Look at how little time I have on this shit. I accidentally knifed one guy because I was, like, trying to, like, do the knife animation. You know, like, on Valorant, you just, like, run around and, like, right-click your knife, you know? Yeah. I stabbed the guy in the back on accident. He was freaking out. And I even, like, immediately said, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Um <clears throat> no. And then there was another Wait. instance um, where... Wait, can you friendly fire in that game? There's friendly fire, yeah. There's friendly fire. Oh, and there's and there's no sage heal, you know what I mean? So Yeah. Yeah, so like you're you're down the HP. And then there was another instance where like the another guy on my team, I like I I had never bought a flashbang grenade before, so I bought one. And of course I missed it and it bounced off the wall back at us. And <laughs> they were he was really mad. Um and I immediately said, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I missed my grenade. And he's like, blah, 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 you fucking retard, why would you even try to flash that? I was trying to flash it so he could go in. Like, I was thinking, like, okay, this is like a sky flash, you know, I throw it and then I go rush them, right, you know? <laughs> yeah. While they're blind, I go rush them while they can't see me, just like in Valorant, right? But no, yeah. of course, like, the grenade does not go where I want it to go. It freaking hits the side of the wall, bounces back at us, and of course, I run away and the guy dies. It's just so, <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I, I didn't mean to do it. Like, and then we lost that game. I think that might have been the one game that I've lost. Yeah, let's see. That, that game was either the first loss or it ended in a 12-12 tie. I can't remember. But one thing I don't like about uh, CS, too, is that there's no... Maybe there is, but I just don't know how to do it. There's no, like, match history. I can't find, like, my last played games, you know? Oh, there must be one. That's, like, a crucial feature for each game. Pretty sure there must be one. Yeah, but, like, in Valorant, it's right there. It's prevalent. Like, it's idiot-proof. There's no way you can't find yeah. match history on Valorant. That's true. I, I'm sure you... I don't know if you ever heard that term, but in America, people say that a lot. Idiot-proof. The what? Idiot proof, like it's so easy that like idiot even an, proof. Oh, yeah. an idiot, idiot proof. Okay. yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if full proof, like. full full proof. Yeah, okay, that's another one too. I don't know if you say that, but I thought you might get a laugh out of that one. Uh, no, like I'm the only one who's good at English in my school. Really? Nobody talks in English. Yeah. Do they? So what? They speak Hindi a lot. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I mean, you know, like, I talk like this in school. I don't talk like, hello, my name is Anirudh. Yeah, like of that. course. I talk like this and I think that I'm an American immigrant. What the fuck? You said that, yeah. Actually, yeah. And now I can't talk to them in Hindi. <laughs> but wait, can, can you speak Hindi with an American accent? Uh, no. I don't know. Never tried it. Never tried, yeah. So, English oh, really is your second language, then? No, not really. It's my first language. I was thinking English. No, yeah, yeah. I understand that, but I mean, like, you grew up speaking Hindi. I know. Yeah, I actually did. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Yes, but, but, but it is my native language, but I think I changed my native language. Like, in my brain, like, I feel English to be a lot more comfortable now. Like, that's, I, I, th for I think that's, like I think that's good. And I, I like how your first response is, you're like, I think in English. Because when I was, like, uh, taking French in high school, they were like, you have to think in French. And I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. I just, I could not get my mm -hmm. mind to... Mm -hmm. It's like kind of natural to me. I kind of have to like force myself to think in Hindi, but natural it just it's just English. The thing is, I think English is more valuable though, right? Yeah, of course. 
like not not to be like egotistical about it but just being like honest i think it's just more valuable because even if you were like dropped in the middle of africa hindi's not going to help you yeah. but english would help you a lot more you know what i mean yeah exactly And if I tell this to my parents that I don't like Hindi, they're like, you're ruining our culture, you're a disgrace to this religion. I mean, yeah, fuck you. to be honest, they're not wrong, but I also agree with you care. that this English is, is more important. Do you have to pray this five times a shit, day, or yeah. is that not your religion? No, uh, no, that that is Islam, I think. Okay, I think you're, I think you're right on that. Like, my, my mom doesn't want me to do some rituals, but I don't do that. I do my own. <laughs> What, she wants you to do like Hindi rituals? Yeah, she wants me to do them, but I don't do them usually. And Damn. she kind of gets mad every time, but I don't care. I'm not doing that, I'm a Satanist. I'm a Satanist, oh my gosh. I literally worship them, what do you mean? What's wrong with that? I mean, I don't know, I guess it's a religion, yeah, I, mean, I guess. I mean, it sounds weird because it's like really... The thing really is, it's really somewhere. taboo. If you say that in America, people are like, people will like, give you like a side eye they're like gonna be like what the heck this guy right here they're gonna know, like they're gonna want to they're gonna want to get away from you you know what i mean yeah of course yeah that, that's what i'm keeping is like a secret yeah like like, like if I'm you ever sure. want someone to like not be by you to leave you alone just say that shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah like I, I'm sure it'll work in your country too. If you just like, if, if you're at school and someone's annoying you, and you say like, "Oh, I worship Satan," they're gonna leave you alone no, right away. No, 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 no. The Indian kids are too immature to understand any of that. They're like oh. pigs, less intelligent than pigs, I guess. Than pigs? Oh my gosh. But pigs literally eat their feces, you know. Yeah, I mean, well, Indians have brains made of feces. Yeah, you know, you were trying to install uh, Play-Doh Roblox, but maybe they have Play-Doh Brain. Hey. Or, I mean, Play-Doh Roblox. Play-Doh Valorant. Roblox is already, like, Play-Doh. No, not really. Roblox has really good graphics. I mean, for, like, a block... I mean, compared to Minecraft, it has good graphics. Honestly, I don't think, like, Roblox graphics are, like, a problem. Nah, I don't think I it's think a it's just, problem like, the either. Game. Uh, the game like uniqueness kind of you know i'm just hating on it you know for no reason uh, okay even though i play it actually i played it recently again and uh with her and i got a jackpot in the uh arcade one. Oh, nice my uh my uh, for some reason i have fucking 110 ping on roblox bro yeah like roblox is like it is like random servers. It doesn't get the one nearest to you. Oh, for real? Yeah. I like, did not I get know. massive in California a lot of time. A lot of times, I get like 300 points. Yeah, so like my high ping was actually like making it almost impossible to play that. But then I got the timing down with the ping, so then I could game it and get the high score or get the jackpot rather. Yeah. yeah. Because with that high of ping, it became predictable, if that makes sense. Yeah, I find out for Because, like, it was, like, I, I had delay, but the delay was, like, the same every time, it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Consistent so... Delay, I guess. It was easy to, like, kind of game it, I guess. I don't know. I want to show you something. Wait, have I showed you the games that are made on Roblox? You did, yes. Oh, yeah. You could watch the video that I sent to you from the timestamp. I'm still doing my aim lab, but I will watch it. Okay, you're doing the aim lab, good. Okay. So how do you feel about spending all your day like teenagers online? Uh, I don't know. 
Isn't that like weird, the age gap? Huh? Do anything like the age gap makes it like weird? Uh, not really. I don't know, like... I don't know. It makes me, like, feel young. It makes me feel wanted to, like, talk to people. And, uh, I don't know. Like, I just see people for people, right? Like, it doesn't really matter to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think the most important thing is, is that, like, whoever it is, they value my company, right? Yeah. Because when I was your age, I was always alone. I had no friends. I had no one to talk to ever. Mm -hmm. Same kind of fair, but I like it. I, don't I had like to talk to me because like how immature they are. If I was like if I was in America, I'd definitely try to socialize being with people. Yeah. Because those are like normal people, not like a, like let, let me tell you, bath, yeah. People would find you like exotic, like because you're foreign. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said that, like, um, you wonder if people think, like, Americans are exotic in India or whatever, like, foreign yeah. people or whatever. Yeah, like, as long as you're not weird and you're, like, kind, you know, people will generally accept that. They, they would want to be your friend, if that makes sense. I see, yeah. At least from my experiences. But no, Actually, like... If I, if, I, if I ever make it to the U.S., and I experience racism, I'm like accepted because Indians are so shit. I will take with take it with every atom of my body. Like yeah, I'm, I'm this race that deserve to. The thing like, is, they're gonna like, I don't know, have you ever seen The Simpsons? No. Do you know what that is though? Kind of, like, it's some like show? Yeah, it's with like Garden, yellow, cart it's show. like yellow skin yeah, people. One. Yes, yes, Basically, yeah, they're one. gonna make fun of you and call you the Indian like 7-Eleven owner. Okay. They're fine. like they're gonna be like, thank you, come again. In yeah. that in that kind of voice, like I don't know, that's like a joke that people often say, and it's kind of really fucked up. But I think I would take that. It's not even that bad. It's not like you know, like a slur. Yeah. It's fine. Like you can call me like a scammer or something. I don't care. Oh, that, that too. Idea. Yeah, the people call the call idea. center jokes. Yeah. Because I'm Indian, I think I deserve it. Nah, you don't deserve it. You deserve to be treated nice. Just like everyone yeah, else. Man. Nope. You don't view yourself as like a third world, third class person just because of your ethnicity and skin color, right? That's what I, I mean, that's what you deserve But that's okay. literally like the definition of racism. That's what I mean by like, I just treat people for people. Yeah. Like, like, if you, as long as you're nice to me, if you're not toxic to me, then, like, I'm going to treat you nice. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, I don't know if you ever heard of this. you're nice to people who are toxic to you, too. Okay. I mean, sometimes in games, just because I want to win, you know. But if, like, if it was real life, no. Um, I have, like, never seen you be toxic. Uh, I was toxic yesterday to this fucking guy named Tesla5678 who has kept killing me with a bucky. <laughs> I said like what the fuck is wrong with you I played three death matches in a row with you like I asked you last game to quit using the Bucky and you used the M4 and now we're in the next death match and you think I'm not here please don't use the Bucky it's not even a Bucky it's that's like that's not toxic though <laughs> I mean okay okay I was toxic to this one guy yesterday uh, as my first DM on and I kept getting fucked by the Bucky it wasn't him using it but then he he sounded like he sounded like a pedophile dude. Like he was older than me, and he was trying to sound like a like a like a robot, like an AI, like a voice, like a weird voice. And I could tell that it was him faking it. I wish I was. I wish I streamed that because it would have been so funny. But I don't know. I'm describing it really weird. He sounded like uh, you ever played Borderlands? No. He sounded like the claptrap robot on there. I don't know, it was annoying. <laughs> but dude, that's not toxic. It's not that toxic. 
I, I meant like scream slurs and like shit. No, that's just not my personality. Like, I don't do that. Um, I want to be like that. I want to harm everybody. Then just go in, insta-lock Jet, and just be a, tr be a trash panda, you know? Be an asshole to everybody. Of course, like, my team doesn't matter. I can carry anybody. Yeah, I'm see, this, you, oh, you already have the toxic attitude, the toxic mindset. There you go. Yeah, let's go. Like yesterday at night at around this this time I guess um, even though I had school I was awake I was on my phone like just watching shit on YouTube yeah and I saw some like <laughs> I don't know, like really scary things you know like I saw I saw a guy uh, I saw like a video which had like uh, disturbing claims made by kids and one of them had like uh, uh, a, the kids family and then one more like it was like like i don't know like a girl in black with like bloody eyes and she said that this is my friend why can dad and mom not see her uh, like holy god yeah that sounds like a horror movie yeah so like i saw a couple of bad stuff i also saw like some people do some like rituals that was really scary for me they were shouting and shit so I asked my teacher about that, and he said that those people are, like, just friends. Don't watch them. Yeah, that is kind of cringe. <clears throat> and for the summoning that I'm going to do after, like, I stop talking with you, like, I'm kind of scared because I've never done it before. But at the same time, I don't, th I don't really think I have another option. You know, like, you know how you say, like, you want to commit suicide and, like, and you just said that you're scared? You, those yeah. two things can't go together. You can't. Wow, dude. Dude, you know what? I, I just got ranked 1,666 while I'm talking to you about de demonic things. <laughs> Anyways, those two things don't go together. If you want to die, you can't. Be afraid you can't be afraid of anything if you actually want to die like i don't wear a seatbelt when i drive i no, don't i don't what? i don't you look when what? i cross the street because i actually want to die <laughs> really yes <laughs> uh, that's what i mean by when i say this like you can't you can't say that you want to die and kill yourself but then like be cautious in your daily life it's like fake that's true i've yeah. like no you know, know what like i get uh, the reason like I'm so suicidal is like I get like short energy bursts. Yeah. Like, when something happens, like when one of my parents goes. Mad, That's like manic. That I manic. get like that short. Yeah. I like go mad. I'm like I'm like I'm gonna kill myself. Like that's the part. That's the time in which I like get all the questions that I sense. But otherwise, like I'm usually not like that. I'm like, you can kind of say that I get drunk at that time. Yeah. I get a huge energy outburst, and I'm like just doing shit. It's like a brief mania session yeah i just wish that continued for like forever no you don't want Honestly, that you know you know what like i uh, i talked to my teacher and i said that if i don't want to suicide then i could like get possessed and let some demon use my body because they have better use of my body than me so what are you gonna do like a ritual where you like slaughter a goat and like take the blood and shit or is that like fake no no that that is fake what, you need human okay. sacrifice, not a goat? No, no, the, the ritual does not need anything else. It's, it's just like some. Oh. You gotta do some. Like, you gotta say some stuff, do some things. But, like, not related to your. So, body. the guy. So, the guy that's, like, telling you this. Like, he practices yeah, this? A teacher. Yeah, he's been doing this since, like, 12 years. And his girlfriend was sexually assaulted by a guy. And he killed that guy. Dang. The only place where you need like blood 
to do a ritual is like blood magic, which mm. is like basically like necromancy. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, like there's two ways to like, you know, I could go about killing someone with like the stuff. So what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So first, I could either do the blood magic, so that ritual requires me to uh, gather some blood out of my left eye. Then do the ritual. What? Yeah, it's like blood from different parts of the body can be used for different things. Like if I want to be like physically unbeatable, then I think I have to get blood from my thigh. So it's something like that. Like you get what I mean? Like different yeah. parts of the body have different types of blood that that can like get you different powers. So to cause death, you need to do the ritual with blood from your left eye. Uh, that that's the first option to kill someone. Second, you could do astral projection, which is basically like your spirit leaves your body, but you can still like do whatever. So like, like my spirit leaves my body, and I could come to your home and like lift your coffee can in the air, and you would see it floating. Like there, there's a ghost. You would see that, you know. So what I could do is to like get a knife and stab them. That, like, physically, 